Metro Vancouver's newest regional park is ready to be put into use. A project that's been years in the making. The story, I would say, starts in the early 1990s uh, when there was some development pressure on the lands at our Surrey Bend. Some filling occurred for future industrial development. At that time, there was quite a bit of public interest in preserving all of Surrey Bend as conservation lands. And so with partnership with the province, uh, Metro Vancouver acquired about half the property and the city of Surrey acquired the northern half of the property. So that was the beginning of Surrey Bend and towards its development as a regional park. Surrey Bend Regional Park sits across from Barnston Island, where the Fraser River takes a jog to the south, hence the name. At 348 hectares, it is the biggest park in Surrey. The largest part of the park is an undiked bog wetland, and we've created some trails into that area so people can see what a bog wetland looks like. It does have a fish-bearing stream running right through the middle of it, Centre Creek, and it has four different species of salmon and trout there. It is the third largest bog in the region, so it is for us a very unique situation and we want to preserve that and keep it intact. The Transportation Investment Corporation, responsible for compensating habitat loss caused by construction of the nearby Portman Bridge, funded the construction of fish channels running through Surrey Bend's wetlands. Working with six First Nations communities, $2.5 million was spent to create or enhance fish, vegetation and bird habitat. And they were allowed to build quite a number of fish channels in here. The excavated material was used to build the base for the foundation for our trails. The fish have come in since then and they've also provided bridges to cross those fish channels. The park features a nature discovery area, something new that's never been done in a regional park before. The idea is really to connect people with nature, to allow children and their caregivers to physically interact with natural materials like sand and logs and boulders. Within that area, there's going to be an outdoor classroom made out of boulders where classes can come here to the park. Also, uh, Metro Vancouver has nature-based programs where they'll be run out of that area and having it close to the washrooms and the entry of the park allows people to access it right away and gives them the option of connecting with nature right out when they come in off their bike or their car. When Metro Vancouver and the city of Surrey started planning the regional park, the southeast corner of the Surrey Bend lands was a blank slate, having been already cleared and filled in expectation of future industrial use. With the fill area, it is really important that we reinstitute some of the native vegetation that is in the surrounding areas. It's the place that people arrive first and we want that to be an introduction to the park so some of the same species that occur throughout and rehabilitating that area that had been previously filled. With that in mind, Metro Vancouver invited UBC biology students to help replant the area with native trees and shrubs, essentially creating a forest from scratch. We're planning for 40, 50, 60 years in advance by planting trees that we think will grow now with these dry conditions and in the future as well with climate change. Hopefully all of this will provide habitat for wildlife, maybe not immediately, but over time and we think it'll be better and better and better as the years go by. The regional park features several kilometres of trails, including a loop trail that will take walkers through the wetland, an area rich with countless species of birds. I get emails and phone calls every week asking when the park's going to be open. I think the local community have been waiting for this for a while, and so everybody's getting excited about this area and it will provide much needed green space for everybody. I worked for Metro Vancouver when we acquired this park 20 years ago, so it is very, very nice to see it coming to life now. It's a beautiful park. There's lovely, lovely wetlands out here. There's a nice bog and it really hasn't been accessible to people. People really haven't been able to get out here and enjoy it. So it's nice to see it opening up. It's nice to see it being developed. It's nice to see the fish channels that have gone in and to see the things that we're doing to open it up to the people and to know that it'll still be a wonderful ecosystem.